Hey, this is Cycling Explorer again. Today I'm in Bexley, Ohio. Behind me is the City Hall, and in a few months they're going to start the process of raising this building and putting in a Giant Eagle grocery store in its place. But in the meantime, I want you to see all the splendors that Bexley has to offer. Bexley is five miles east of Columbus. The village of Bexley was incorporated in 1908 when the neighborhoods of Bullet Park to the north and Pleasant Ridge to the south combined. Bullet Park was formed in the late 1800s as a neighborhood occupied by the wealthy Columbus residents who constructed country homes and urban estates east of the Alum Creek River along Broad Street. Pleasant Ridge was a Lutheran community rooted in the academic environment of Capital University, which located in the neighborhood in 1876. After reaching a population of 5,000 in the late 1920s, Bexley became a city in 1932. Today, Bexley has a population of over 13,000 residents with over 4,000 households in the city. Hey, this is Cycling Explorer again. Today I'm at Capital University. This university was founded in 1830 as a Lutheran seminary school and was chartered in 1850. The main campus is located in Bexley, Ohio on 53 acres. It's the oldest university in central Ohio, founded in 1830. That's 40 years before Ohio State one of the oldest and largest Lutheran-affiliated universities in North America. Capital is currently home to 3,628 undergraduate and graduate students and 691 are freshmen. They employ nearly 200 full-time and more than 200 part-time faculty, which helps keep class size small and gives the students the individual attention that they need. Talking about ratios, there is a 12 to 1 ratio currently for undergraduate students and in the fall of 2013, 59% of classes had 19 or fewer students. Capital University has more than 60 majors and 51 minors to choose from. Some majors include education, nursing, economics, criminology, athletic training, business, accounting, chemistry, and many others. The 1930s era landmark Drexel Movie Theater on Main Street is a leading area movie exhibitor featuring independent and international films on three screens. It is currently operated by the Friends of the Drexel Incorporated as a nonprofit foundation. The Columbus Association of Performing Arts or CAPA manages the theater. Raiders Ice Cream currently occupies the old Wentz Drugstore.
Urbino's Pizzeria has become famous for barely changing since it opened in the early 1950s. Urbino's does not deliver and only accepts cash or checks. The Main Street address is its only location and has been independently run. Known for its thin crust pizzas, carry-out pizzas are packaged in paper rather than cardboard boxes. The doors of Johnson's Real Ice Cream were first opened on September 1st, 1950 in a 15 by 20 foot building and they've been expanding ever since. Today they have ice creams, yogurts, sundaes, shakes and drinks, soups, salads, sandwiches, and much more. St. Charles Preparatory School is a four-year Catholic high school. It was founded in 1923 by the fourth Bishop of Columbus, James Hartley, as a Roman Catholic college seminary and high school. Today, it is an all-male high school serving the Roman Catholic Diocese of Columbus. In 1925, construction of the main school building was completed and the first classes were held there. In 1931, it saw the completion of the St. Charles Gymnasium and our Lady Lord's Grotto. Total enrollment is over 600 and nearly 100% of the graduates attend college. Wolf Park is located on Broad Street in Bexley, Ohio. It contains a shelter house, eight tennis courts, play area, a bike trail, the Allen Creek Bike Trail, two ball fields, suspension bridge, and plenty of fields to play or walk the dog. Built as a single family residence in 1905 by industrialist Robert H. Jeffrey and his wife Mary, Jeffrey Mansion and its surrounding 32 acres were donated to the city of Bexley in 1941. Today, the historic building offers city recreation, sports, swimming pool, tennis courts, cultural and arts education program, and provides special event facilities for the community. Inside the first floor were the living area, the second floor was the bedrooms, the third floor was the servant quarters, and the basement was a shooting range. Thanks for watching. Now get out and explore.